We learned today that North Korea hit the United States with a $2 million bill for the hospital care of Otto Warmbier. Why is that odd? Well, the University of Virginia student was not taken care of in North Korea. He was put in a coma and died shortly after returning home in 2017. Paula Reed has more on this story. These are the last photos published of American college student Otto Warmbier in a coma and being carried off a plane in Cincinnati in June 2017, six days before he died. CBS News has learned North Korea demanded the U.S. pay $2 million for Warmbier's medical expenses before he could return home. The University of Virginia student was arrested in January 2016 after allegedly pulling down a propaganda poster in a Pyongyang hotel. He was later sentenced to 15 years in prison with hard labor. Joseph Yoon, the State Department's top official on North Korea at the time, traveled to Pyongyang and found warm beer comatose in an intensive care unit. He signed the $2 million bill, but the State Department says it never intended to pay and did not. Warm Beer's parents have blamed North Korean leader Kim Jong-un for their son's death, Don't but President Trump has defended the dictator. It just wasn't to his advantage to allow that to happen. Those prisons are rough. They're rough places, and bad things happened. Kim met with Russian President Vladimir Putin today in eastern Russia, a rebuke to the Trump administration over stalled nuclear disarmament negotiations. But in an interview for the CBS News podcast, Intelligence Matters, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said there is still a path to a deal. The president's made clear we're going to have enough patience to make sure that we're really having good faith negotiations and real conversations. After meeting with Putin, Kim accused the U.S. of acting in bad faith at the most recent summit and said peace on the peninsula will depend on the U.S.'s future attitude. The White House had no comment. Jeff. Okay, Paula, thank you very much.